When I started Frono's Photo in 2010, I didn't have a studio. I didn't even have my own place. I, I lived at home. I used my brother's old room and my dad's backyard to make the majority of my videos. I should also mention I had a home away from home to make videos thanks to Alan at Alan's camera. Now, I never envisioned getting to a place where I had my very own standalone studio. Honestly, I was so focused on just creating every day that it didn't really cross my mind. There's something to those original videos shot at home. They were raw, they were shorter, and I made a new one every single day. I pretty much was vlogging before vlogging was even a thing. I never sat in the backyard or in my brother's room and was like, man, I wish I had my own space. Home was safe, home was easy, and home was free for all intent and purposes. But at some point, it becomes time to fly the coop. And in 2012, I moved into Philly where I rented a 2,600 square foot loft AKA the panty dropper, as some of my lady friends like to call it. And for the next year, I lived and created hundreds of videos in that space. Now fast forward a year from there, my lease was not gonna be renewed, and it was time to look for a place to buy that I could make all my own. Now after a long and arduous search, and, and by long and arduous, I, I really mean I made an offer on the very first place I looked at, truth be told, I was $20,000 short on the down payment. But the good news is, I released the Fronos Photo Guide to getting out of auto around that time, and thanks to everyone who purchased it, I was able to make the down payment, and then some. This brought us into the loft number two era, which saw me once again living and working in the same space day in and day out. Now, I lived alone, I pretty much worked alone until Steven joined part-time, followed by full-time and we used every nook and cranny of that space to create content. We filmed podcasts, portrait shoots, critiques, user guides, and so much more. But around 2015, with two full-time employees coming to my house every day to set up shoots and then breaking down the sets before we left, it was finally time to consider a real deal standalone studio. And that's when I found the Fro Factory. A raw shell of a building with major potential. No longer would we need to break down sets every day. We could build it out any way we saw fit. And for the last seven years, we did exactly that. There's the photo news set with its awesome background of vintage cameras and signs. There's the store set for reviewing gear inside a camera store, a comparison set, user guide set, my actual real working desk, desk set. There was Raw Talk, which we streamed live for many years, along with some other random sets that we built when we needed to make a one-off video. And then there's this set, the one that we break out when something more serious happens and we wanna make that type of video. This building made us feel like we were running a real business. It allowed me to personally create some separation between home and work and let us create a solid foundation to build upon. We've accomplished so much in what seems like a short amount of time here at the Fro Factory. Honestly, it's kind of amazing the journey that I've had as a YouTuber so far. I went from my backyard to the first loft to the second loft, the Fro Factory, and now onto a new amazing space with endless possibilities. So what will we be doing with this new space? I guess we'll have to wait and see.